We've already seen this one in concept form, but now it's finally time to see the 2023 Acura Integra in its production flesh. Okay, so yeah, of course it looks the same. That pre-production version was essentially the real deal. But this version looks way better thanks to the paint color choices and lack of not necessary side graphics. The 2023 Integra is a modern homage to the original version. So it's a four-door liftback style sedan with a nicely shaped roof line. It's even got that same little liftback indent for your hand like the original. You've got the July LED headlight bits, and then you've got the LED daytime running lights. They, they call it the chicane right here. And then I love that they kept the embossed Integra name right here as well. You've also got 17 inch wheels are standard, 18 inch wheels are an option, and even 19 inch wheels are also available. On the A-Spec package, you get gloss black window surrounds, a nice lip spoiler, some extra badges, and gray 18 inch alloy wheels. On the inside, it feels like an upscale Civic in here, and I mean that in a very good way because that's what this Integra is, and the Civic itself is currently excellent inside and out. So the Acura is too, but it gets nicer materials, plenty of good legroom for those in the back, and you also get heated front seats as standard. These are eight-way adjustable, but the available tech package includes 12-way power adjustable seats along with micro suede inserts. A-spec models add in stainless steel pedals, red gauge needles, and contrasting stitching, which you can see here on the steering wheel, on the seats, and around the shift lever. The standard screen ahead of the driver is a 10.2 inch digital display. A seven inch touchscreen is standard kit in the center, but Acura also offers a nine inch display that moves CarPlay and Android Auto from wired to wireless. It's also part of the tech package, which includes a head up display and Qi wireless charging. Now let's talk powertrain. I said it's basically a nicer Civic Si, and it is. Under the hood, you have a one and a half liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. It makes 200 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque. That torque is available from 1800 RPM on up to 5000 RPM, which is great. You can choose between a CVT or a short-throwing six-speed manual gearbox, and those with the manual gearbox get a limited slip up front as well. If you are an enthusiast, this should be a pretty easy choice. And knowing and loving how the new Civic Si drives gets us excited for this one, it should be even better because it's a little bit nicer inside and you can crank the optional ELS 3D audio premium sound system. The new Acura Integra is slated to begin production soon and it will be built in Marysville, Ohio. We expect the starting price to be just over $30,000. And interestingly enough, they're packing the fully loaded A-Spec with technology package version with tons of stuff and you don't need to spend a lot to get it. That one should land in the mid to high $30,000 as well. You're not gonna need to pay over $40,000 for one of these, which frankly is kind of crazy. Though you can also kind of kick back and wait like the rest of us are doing until they announce a Type R version. It has to be coming, right? You know they're gonna add a Type R version to this. I mean, it, it has to be coming, right? For now, this is good, but the Type R has to be coming. 